Hello and welcome to Blink, The Last Night, a first-person horror game where I'm going to be playing as a babysitter looking after the daughter of a local psychiatrist when someone, or something, tries to kidnap her. If you want to get this for yourselves, the links and the details are down below in the description. I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, but let's begin a new game. <laughs> you weren't asleep on the job, were you? Come on, wakey wakey. Sounds like someone's trying to get a hold of you on the phone. Oh, I think I know where this is. I think I've explored this house before. Wasn't this the same house that was in the Gallagher case? Yeah, I think so. Looks a little bit different, but right. Well, there's the phone. Let's see who it is. Finally, this is the fourth time I've tried to get a hold of you. What were you doing? Not sleeping. Doctor, I'm sorry. Jesus, you weren't sleeping, were you? No. Of course not, Doctor. Right. <laughs> How's Lily doing? Is she around? She's upstairs playing at the moment, but I can go get her if you give me just one second. Don't worry about it. Um, I, I do need a favor, though. I'm going to be later than expected. Could you extend your shift? For double Absolutely pay, sure. Anything for you, Doctor. That won't be the problem. You just have to let me know when you'll be back. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Uh, uh, go ahead, do her cake. It's in the kitchen. After, get her present and give it to her before she goes to bed. It's a rabbit doll in my room. Uh, upstairs, across from Lily's. It'll be in one of the cabinets. Did you get all that? I think so. Yes, <laughs> I've got all that. The cake is in the kitchen, and you've left a rabbit doll for her in your room. Good. I'll call back in a little bit to check up on things. Thanks again. Okay. So, cake in the kitchen, rabbit doll for Lily. But yeah, let's just have a little look around the place, shall we? Looks like I found the kitchen. And a working light switch. Always a plus. Isn't that the cake? Ah, looks like she's already got a piece. That little sneak. <laughs> if that was me, I'd have probably taken the entire cake. Uh, alright. Well, it seems like she's probably going to be upstairs, but let's just have a little look around and uh, get a lay of the land. Is there... Uh, I don't have a flashlight right now, but, you know, that's an option, so I suppose I'm going to find one. Maybe I'm going to find one down here in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you're noticing that I'm blinking, hence the name of the game. It's completely involuntary, but I think that gameplay mechanic is going to lead to a few scares in the game. So yeah, pretty unique. I like it. Looks like we got a, a, a back garden here. Lily! Hmm. Wonder where she went off to. Well, hopefully she's not out here. Yeah, uh, let's just close this up. To be honest, if someone's going to try and kidnap her, I want this place to be as secure as possible. No open doors. Might go out and explore a little bit later, though. What have we got here? Drawings? That's a pretty good butterfly, to be honest. This one? Can't have a look at that, but there's actually a butterfly on it. And would you believe it? More butterflies. Yeah. Pretty talented, actually. There's something else over here, too. What have we got? The Dusk Dimension. Okay. Here we are. Uh, so. The Center for Applied Memory Pharmaceuticals made waves earlier this year after announcing successful first round tests for a new drug that can assist the brain against early stages of dementia. The currently named Invigor was put in development in 1961 with the help of government grants. If Invigor proves to be successful commercially, this could pave the way for even more projects for Camp, who promises to master the human mind before the turn of the millennium. Interesting. Okay. Right. So, yeah, let's leave that door closed. Uh, maybe we should head upstairs and, and see Lily? I'm not sure. What's underneath the stairs? Darkness. <laughs> Anything in the darkness? I might need to find that flashlight to find out. Yeah, uh, there's probably something, but I can't see it at the moment, so let's just close that up. Okay, looks like we've got a couple of light switches. That's more like it. Right, the front door. Can we leave? No. No, I want to stay here. I want to protect Lily. Through here? 
Again, another door that I couldn't go through in the Gallagher case. Lily? No, she's meant to be upstairs, right? Hopefully she's still there. Got a nice little office by the looks of it. Uh, more to read? What's this? It's an instruction manual for a cassette player, I think. Okay. Oh, here we go. So right-click to select an audio tape, left-click to play, and enjoy. Simple as that. I guess I'm going to need to find an audio cassette. What's this? The holiday highlight. Daisy Dots, right. Comes in classic yellow, bright blue, and vibrant green. Is that the doll that he got her for her birthday? Nah, that's meant to be a rabbit doll, right? Actually, that looks a lot like the doll that we saw next to the phone, so yeah, maybe maybe it's that one. What we got here? Uh, okay. This William Brown was convicted of murdering his father on August 16th, 1960. Though only 13 at the time, he was tried as an adult. His defence reportedly tried to organise an insanity defence, but Brown pleaded guilty to all charges against him, assuring he was of sound mind. He spent four years in juvie before being transferred to the Colorado St. Penitentiary. Uh, shortly after being transferred, Brown had a violent confrontation with another inmate involving a shoelace he'd gotten. Somehow. <laughs> he was put in solitary confinement and has just been reintroduced to general prison population within the past month. Brown's behaviour is quiet. He often keeps to himself. He seems to be articulate, reading anything he can get his hands on. No history of medications. Okay. I probably shouldn't be sneaking in and reading this stuff. This is probably very confidential. Missing person's homicide? Case closed, apparently. Right. Yeah. Anything on the back? Nothing on the back. Right, yeah. I'm just going to ignore this. I probably shouldn't have seen any of that. We do have a big safe. Maybe I can find the combination. <laughs> Lily, do you know your dad's combination? So she's going to be up here, is she? Is that just me going up the creaky stairs? I think so. Right here. Okay, I think that's the bathroom and that's locked. There's that loft hatch. <laughs> Lily! Go away. I, oh. I just want to be left alone for a while. I'll be out later. Hmm. Okay. All right, fair enough. Uh, oh, look at that. Maybe I should give her a present. Maybe that will cheer her up. I've got the first of the tapes. This one is labeled for Lily. Where's that coming from? Dormant. Okay, there's a radio here. Three. Zero? Should I be writing this down? Office. Office? Wonder. Wonder? What? Open. Open? Oh, I shouldn't have turned it off. Why did I turn it off? I can't turn it back on again. Or at least I can't find that station again. What the hell was that? Weird. Very, very weird. Okay. Um, well, actually, this this should be the room where I'm going to find the doll, right? It was across from Lily's room, apparently. What oh, we got here? I don't think it's the doll, but... Oh, it's a student discipline referral form. Lily, what have you done? You hit another student after said student took one of her drawings. Normally, I'd recommend discipline for both students in situations like this, but the drawing was of Lily and someone named Grace mocking another student's weight. Even if this wasn't the case, Lily has no right to use physical violence when frustrated. Guidance counsellor visits. Oh boy, she's in trouble. Okay. Ah. Is this it? Right. Okay. Uh, cool. Didn't I just pick you up? <laughs> I think it's tab for the inventory? Yeah. Okay, what is going on with this rabbit? Oh. Back. Hey. oh shit, here we real go. News from real people. A small Colorado town is still shaken by the disappearance of Grace Patterson. Grace Patterson. A babysitter who attempted to kidnap the girl she was watching over. What? The night of the kidnapping, the parents returned home earlier than expected. When they arrived, they found Patterson driving away in a hurry. Right. 
Patterson ended up in a high-speed chase with the parents, following the abduction, Ooh. with the child in the back seat. Patterson lost control of the vehicle, ramming into a tree, ending the pursuit. By the time law enforcement arrived, Patterson was gone, though the girl was safe, sustaining only minor injuries. Patterson, aged 18, had been babysitting for the couple for about a year before the incident. Neither the detectives or parents are aware. Oh, come on. We're just getting some good info. Oh, whoa. What the hell just happened? Uh, okay. Where's this? Right. Bloody hell. Some big, strong doors here. That'll keep the kidnapper out. Wait, what? What is this? Some weird memory? Whoa, whoa, whoa boy. What? Oh, oh. Hang on. This is the kitchen, isn't it? Someone's inside. Hang on. I did see someone out by the, the front gate. Oh, God. What's this? Vitamins, a pill to go to sleep, a pill to wake up. Why not a pill to make you feel good? Okay. Yeah, I don't know where she went, but there was someone standing out there. Beautiful, aren't they? The finish, the wood, the look. All right, that's enough of that. That's just a distraction. I think there might be someone inside. Okay, hang on. Let's get the lights on again, shall we? There you go. Anyone down here? No? Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna check on Lily. Oh. I don't know where that was coming from. It what was that? Okay. There's definitely someone inside the house. Can I open the door? Is it locked? No? Okay, alright. Maybe it was coming from downstairs, the office. Can I turn this on? Doesn't seem to be working. Right, okay. Ah! Oh. Maybe it was this that I heard. Right, I don't think I'm meant to be in here, really. I don't know who unlocked the door, either. What's this? Okay. Um, next page, please. Okay, Robbie. Uh, we're not moving. Weirdo, gross, ooh, show and tell went well. A new babysitter. This is, this is Grace. Grace took me to the park. When she got back, she was still typing. And apparently they found something past the park. And they should keep it a secret. Grace keeps watching me. Okay. I think it may have been Grace that I saw standing outside by the front gate. Oh, is that it? Okay, there's no more pages, apparently. Weird. Okay. I- Whoa! Lily! Grace? Is that- Oh shit. Okay. Alright, yeah. The spooks are happening. Oh fuck. Right, keep that on. Let's do this one room at a time. Really wish I found that flashlight. God, it's very, very dark up here, isn't it? Right, let's try Lily's room. Can I just go in? I can! I can, good. What the hell happened here? Bare footprints. Leading round there. There's that slice of cake. In the closet. Is there a monster in the closet? I... Oh, I can open it. What's that? There's another drawer in... I... Whoa, jeez! What? Whoa! 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 Okay! I'm liking some of these scares, yeah. Okay, I can't go that way anymore, right. Who the hell are you? Grace? What's going on? Oh, that's now open. I can only just about see that the door is open, but... The bathroom? Right, let's get the light on. It doesn't work. Shit. Can I just pick one of these candles up or something? Where the hell's the flashlight? This way? Okay. Okay, right. Close the door. <laughs> right, so what have we got here? Capturing nature, let's see. Oh, Lily would love this. Don't get her another doll. Maybe get her a camera instead, right? Something over here too. 
She's waiting. She's waiting, apparently. Oh, oh shit. That's enough of that. <laughs> right. That wasn't there before, was it? Okay. Come on now, come on. There's something down here in the dark. Ooh. Oh, what's going on there? That was a bit weird. I think that was another one of her drawings, but it faded away. What's back here? A locked door. Another closet that's locked, right. Okay, what's up with the arrows? What are you guiding me towards? Well, that doesn't sound good. Can we go down? Hang on. There is something at the very foot of the stairs. Yeah, more arrows. Pointing into the living room. Oh, is that... Okay, I think I found a flashlight. What is that that I'm hearing, though? Oh. Oh, boy. Right. I'm just gonna go and pick this up, alright? I guess it's not alright. Wow. Wait. And we're back here. Wherever the hell here is. Okay. Uh, what agency did you come from? <laughs> Are you actually a babysitter? I don't know. I figure this is some weird memory, right? Maybe not my own? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Right, let's see. Camp. The Center for Applied Memory Pharmaceuticals. Yeah, that's the place that I read about earlier. Something round here to the right? Uh, that doesn't sound good. Let's go in here. Okay. Is there something in here that you want me to see? Because quite honestly, it's hard to see anything. It's very, very dark. Really do need a flashlight. But yeah, even in whatever this is, some dream, some flashback. No flashlight. Okay. <laughs> why are there mannequins? Honestly, why are there mannequins? It's the last thing I need. Oh boy. Okay, let's not do that again. Okay. I just saw you fucking move. Can I trust any of you motherfuckers? Probably not. I'm just going to give you a wide berth. Yeah. Disrupt the cycle. We'll get right on that, right. I just want to disrupt this dream, this flashback. I want to... I want to go back to the house. I want to see if I can maybe save Lily. She's in trouble. Okay. Oh, I do not like this. <laughs> Uh, I'm just waiting for the jump scare. What is that? It's a mirror, I think. W with something on the mirror? Something's taped to it. Okay. Let's take a look. It's been happening like clockwork. Every time I finish tucking Lily into bed, the radio in the other room plays a strange song, then shuts back off. At first, I thought it was an automatic system of sorts, but tonight I let Lily stay up an hour later than usual, and it didn't play until immediately after I tucked her in. I called Vida, thinking there was someone in the room. He hurried home, opened the room, and nothing. I know it's not all in my head. Something's going on. Something's definitely going on. Oh. <laughs> and what's this? This game is surprising me in some very nice ways. I'm pretty sure it's the developer's first game as well, or... Well, if not their first game, one of their first. Which makes it all the more impressive, honestly. Okay, is this going to lead me back to the house? Was that Lily that I just saw getting dragged off? <laughs> Another mirror. And what's this? Another drawing. Oh, well, it seems to be a very dark corridor, right. Maybe something to look forward to. Oh 
boy. Yeah, I like this a lot, and I like the blinking as well. It's not annoying or anything, and every time it happens, I do wonder what I'm going to see when I open my eyes. Anyway, it's starting to play at random times now. Sometimes I'll run up the stairs when I hear it, but by the time I get close, it'll shut off. I know someone's in there, messing with me. If only it wasn't locked. Why is there no key to that door? There it goes again. It's playing over and over. I need to ask Lily if she can hear it too. Okay, she can't hear it even though it's playing right outside her bedroom. She must be in on it. Yeah, well you're hearing things. <laughs> it's changed again! It's another mirror! With, I guess, another note. Oh? Oh, look at this! This is actually really good! I'm very much enjoying this! Okay, let's read a little bit more. Let's find out exactly what's going on. <laughs> or I hope to, at least. I sit outside the door and listen to it now. I never noticed before, but there's someone speaking in the song. This door. I can't make out what they're saying. If only I was closer. Why is there no key? What is it saying? I have to get in. What if it gives me answers? Answers to the song? I'm getting in there even if I have to break the door down. I can hear her now. It all makes sense. Does it? Every time I turn around, I think someone's going to be standing right behind me. Instead, we have the phone. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, just as it was in the house, although I don't think this was here. I twist the dial, but it won't go any louder. I missed something. Ouch! Whoa. Oh, Christ. What the hell was that? Wait. Oh, I thought I recognized those doors as those big, strong ones from before on that corridor, but it's somewhere else. Can we go back to this? Yeah, okay. Right, right. I missed something important. Why won't they speak louder? I have to go inside. I dissect the radio, but still can't hear them clearly. The music just gets louder, and the voice quieter. What? Now it's coming from the closet. I open it. Nothing. The voice is everywhere now. It's mocking me. Mocking me. Mocking me. Lily. The music stopped. She's screaming. I know what I missed. She keeps repeating it. I'm not safe here. No, I am definitely not safe here. Right. Oh, are we going this way? I think we're going this way. Is this going to transport me back to the house? Not yet. Please, can I find a flashlight now? <laughs> I guess my only complaint so far is that there's so many dark areas, and I'm pretty sure in the settings there's no brightness or gamma settings. Okay. We oh boy, alright, well that that might be a special mirror. Can we go this way? Of course we can't. Of course we can't. Alright. Let's see. No, no, this time. Ah. Ooh. Something's dragging me away. Okay, what is going on exactly? I guess it's got something to do with the, uh, you know, with camp, right? Phone call? Uh-huh, alright. A little bit of deja vu here. Was that just a dream? Or a premonition or something? I see the furniture's back. Still no flashlight on the floor? No. Fuck. <laughs> okay, this is weird. Finally, this is the fourth time I've tried to get a hold of you. What were you doing? It's exactly the same. Jesus, you weren't sleeping, were you? Never mind. Hmm. How's Lily doing? Is she around? I can't hear her this time. But yeah, she was upstairs last I saw her. Want me to go get her? Don't worry about it. Um, I, I do need a favor, though. I'm going to be later than expected. Could you extend your shift? For triple pay? Yeah. My price has gone up. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Uh, 
Uh, go ahead, do her cake. It's in the kitchen. After, get her present and give it to her before she goes to bed. It's a rabbit doll in my room. Uh, upstairs, across from Lily. So we're just going It'll through the same thing the again. That, that may have been Did a premonition. Okay, yeah, so the cake's in the kitchen, the rabbit doll's upstairs. Good. I'll call back in a little bit to check up on things. Thanks again. You're very welcome. Right. I think I just want to get the fuck out of here, quite honestly. Okay, that is not an option. Uh, so the inventory... Ah, I actually have this tape. I've still got that. So that wasn't just a dream. I don't know what that was. Maybe we're just reliving things. Right, I should be able to listen to it now though, right? So let's see, what was it? Right click? That's it. Let's listen to this. The tape for Lily. There you go. Lily, it's Daddy. I hope this message gets to you by your birthday. Your mom mailed me some of your drawings the other day. I must say you're getting much better. Like this one of you and mom in the park is, is really good. And this one with you and... Listen, Lily. I know you're probably getting tired of me being away all the time. But that's going to change very soon, okay? And now you've got a recording of me saying it. So before I leave, It'll be your job to play me this tape and remind me of my promise. Until then, happy birthday. I'll be back before you know it. I love you. Okay. Alright. Seems like a, a caring father, even if he's not around all the time. What's this over here? Ah, oh, it's another one of these drawings that just sort of fade away. They don't go into my inventory or anything? No, now my inventory is empty. I don't know what they are. Collectibles, maybe. Right, so... Wh what is going on, precisely? Do I, do I go upstairs? Do I go check on the cake? Let's go to Lily's room. Let's go see if we can find that rabbit again. I never actually, for sure, picked the rabbit up. Lily? Right. Well, at least she's still okay. It's this again, isn't it? The present. Where? There it is. There it is, right there. And then it disappears. Only to reappear on the chair, and then it's going to be on the sofa. Right. Just like before. Wait, what? Okay, what's that? Fireflies outside? Why am I in the kitchen immediately? Okay, let's turn that light on. Okay. Wonder where she went off to. Well, she should be in her room. Wait, what the hell is going on here? What? Okay, the living room's turned into a tunnel. Okay. <laughs> left, let's go left. Okay, maybe not. Let's go this way. Wait, this is an elevator? Okay, where are we going? Five, four, three, two, one? One. Okay, we're going to floor one. What is going on inside my head? I feel like maybe I've... I've been a bit of a test subject for camp or something? I don't know. Oh boy, okay. Yeah. I probably shouldn't be getting inside any non-existent elevators. Okay. Oh, why don't I have a flashlight? I hope I haven't missed my chance to pick it up. Sounds like the beeping's coming from over there. Oh, got some buttons. That don't work. Definitely sounds like it's over there. In the corner? On the floor? Above me. The panel? No? Am I hearing? Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, okay, right, yep. Yeah, I definitely want to get out of this weird non-existent elevator that definitely shouldn't be here. Right. Oh, what's this? Oh, is the elevator powering back up, is it? Oh, wonderful. Ah, great, we are back? Wait, is that the front door? Uh, no. Where am I? Authorized personnel only? Okay. This is the living room? <laughs> Not much of a living room. Just a single book lying on the floor. What the fuck? This game's taking me through some weird twists and turns. I like it. No phone, but there's another tape and something about Scott Malcolm, a senior instructor. Mr. Malcolm's been actively training subjects for one month. Malcolm spends less time socializing with co-workers and has picked up tobacco use, likely as an anxiety reliever. Regarding his work, Malcolm is a model employee. His transfer rates are higher than those with more experience than him. Malcolm has been observed to be very inquisitive with research staff regarding his project, though his behavior seems to be more for information probing. Okay, nevertheless, he, I think he's getting employee of the month. Right. Yeah, beyond the camp offices, so he works for camp. Anything on the back? I can't turn this one, actually. But yeah, another tape. Mary B8. Okay. Wasn't there a light switch there? I think there should be. Alrighty. Maybe I can go around here. Maybe I should go out the back, you know? Maybe I should finally explore the back garden and maybe go to that garage. Is that a corpse? Why is there a corpse in the back garden? Oh god, okay. Let's just go over this again. The doctor drawing's gone. Interesting. I feel like I'm only scratching the surface to this. Right, okay. Let's go investigate the body. Doesn't look like I'll be going to the garage. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Where am I now? Back at the, the camp facility, I suppose, right? Okay, so... No, that's not going to work. And nor is that. Around here? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, this is crazy. Right, let's have a look at this. Is that Scott again? Scott Malcolm, that's right, yeah. As of last month, Mr. Scott Malcolm was offered and accepted a position as a senior instructor. As such, Malcolm has been given second floor access and has learned more about camp research. Standard procedure dictates that all employees who received second floor access be observed for a period of four months. Malcolm has been designated the instructor for Project... something under the supervision of someone and works directly with subdivision Vida Psychiatrics. Right, so Vida works for camp in some way. To find volunteer slash paid research subjects. I feel I might be one of them. Yeah. Maybe Grace was too, I don't know. How deep does the rabbit hole go? And how wide am I? I can't actually squeeze through there, apparently. Okay, well, it looks like we're going this way. This way and down. We are, yeah, this is a, a big place. Wait, was that? It was that door up there, it finally closes. Oh, better late than never. Wait, have I been here before as well? I think I have. What was that game that was pretty terrible? The one that stole all its assets. Ebola 2? I think it was that one. Okay, hang on, let's, let's go behind the reception desk here. Let's unlock my mind by investigating deeper. Can I use any of this? Watch your step, make sure it's out before entering, okay. Maybe I can find a flashlight here, you know? <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, I don't mind where I find it, as long as I find it. What's this? More about Scott Malcolm, okay. At work, Mr. Malcolm's behavior is friendly and outgoing. His behavior changes as soon as he leaves work. He's paranoid, anxious, and actively avoids communication with anyone. Off-hour observation has shown that Malcolm spends very little time at home, spending nights at random motels around town. There's no pattern to where he stays, other than it's a different location every three nights. 
Malcolm cannot take the mental stress of his position. It must be made clear whether he is divulging camp secrets. Termination and other measures needed following determination. Right. So he's moving around trying to lose these guys, I think. He probably knows that they're following him, though. I don't know. Okay, loads and loads of switches. The lobby doors. Okay. Which switch was that? Second floor lobby doors. Anything else? I can't listen to the lobby music? Ah, oh, for shame. Never mind. Um, okay, I think that's the only one. Well, let's go investigate those doors, I guess. Second floor, right? So not this one? But I think right above me? I think that's why that door closed, so I could squeeze by. Right. What a wonderfully weird game this is. A surprise, but I think a pleasant one. Yeah. Okay. That's right, that's right. I, I do kind of know the, the location of this from Ebola. That's another tape player. Well, I've got Mary B8, so sure. Okay, short and sweet. Didn't get a great deal out of that, but obviously a, a very distressed woman. So, through here? Okay, onwards and upwards. Am I ever going to go back to the house? <laughs> okay. Through here? Yeah, this is going to be a big facility to explore. Got some elevators, but they're not going to work, are they? The exit? Too good to be true, I'm afraid. Um, one of these? No. Oh. Okay. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, there's something down here. Oh, that's another one of the dolls, isn't it? What's that? I've got a key card. Uh, oh, this is from Scott. You were right. They were watching me. They've been watching me since I got promoted. They still don't seem to know I've been communicating with you. I feel them closing in, though. I can't come back here. I'll get whatever evidence you want, but you need to get me out now. I'm shooting a training film in two days. In that time, I'll get whatever files I can. You need to go ahead and probe the Vida place. Don't watch any TV or listen to any local radio broadcasts until we're done with this. I appreciate everything you folks have done. No TV, no radio. Maybe that's like a trigger for having weird visions or something. I don't know. But, okay, I've got a keycard, though. As I recall, there was a keycard door over here. In a bowler. But maybe not anymore? Ah, security. Oh, maybe here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, access to the security area. This is kind of overwhelming, you know? I, I, <laughs> I didn't really expect the game to go in this direction. Where does this go? Okay. Hopefully towards the flashlight room. No? Oh. Down here. Okay. After hours oh, lockdown overridden. <laughs> Welcome, instructor. Ah. Am I Mr. Malcolm? Or does it think I'm Mr. Malcolm? Through here? No. There? No. Oh, come on, one of these doors has to work. Okay, we've got more monitors up here. Alright. Any flashlight? Oh, there's a big red button. Please, press that big red button. No? Oh, man! Blue screen? Oh, boy. What's this? Q&E. Alright. Oh, okay. So we can cycle through the cameras. Let's see. The West Hallway? 1973. Okay. The lobby? Yeah. What the hell is that? That's a new one. 
Oh, this is inside the Vida house. Yeah, the Vida living room. The elevator. A morgue. I guess there's a morgue on site. All right. That's it. That's a bit of a weird camera to have, but um, yeah, sure. That's, I think, I think that's all we're going to see. Maybe let's leave it on this one. Yeah, okay. And this one here? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just the one on the left that we care about. I think that's the front of the Vida house. Okay. Right. Uh, I don't really know what I need to do here, to be perfectly honest. Spyglass Detective Agency. There's Grace. Right. We've got loads of information. Right, that's Lily. Okay. I wish I could have, like, is, is there a light switch or something around here? If I had a flashlight, we might be able to actually see this properly. But yeah, there's loads and loads of information. They were really doing a lot of research into this. I must have missed it early on or something. I don't know. It's not just sitting... Oh. Okay. Well, that's never good. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay. Wasn't that... Wasn't that me? I don't know. Right. Oh, oh, shit. And that's where it ends? We've just opened up a big can of worms. We're just finally figuring out what's going on. Oh, I see. The story's going to get continued in another game. That was just Blink the Last Night. There's going to be Blink the Lost Chapter. Right. I was under the impression this was going to be a one-off thing. Fine. Fine. Okay. If that was the case, I'd be furious, because that would be the worst ending in the world. But no, this is... this is the last night. This is part one, I suppose. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed this. Yeah, I was very much into it, which is why I'd be so furious if that was the end of the game. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot to like about this. Some really nice surprises. I think the blink mechanic works well. It doesn't feel like a, a gimmick. It doesn't feel annoying. And I think it lends itself well to some scary moments. And there are a fair few scary moments. Whether you see something out the corner of your eye, you, you get jumped. Or uh, maybe you're hearing strange things around the house. Seeing that figure standing outside by the gate. Very ominous. Stuff like that kind of sticks with me. I like that. Going back and forth between the house and the camp area, that was also pretty well done. But what's going to keep me playing this series is the story. I don't know who I am, and I've got doubts about who I'm working for, and even Lily. Like, what's going on? We only really just scratched the surface, so hopefully we can find a little bit more out in the next part, in the lost chapter. Thank you very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. See you next time. <laughs> you weren't asleep on the job, were you? You weren't sleeping, were you? No. Of course not, Doctor. <laughs> What's underneath the stairs? Darkness. <laughs> Zero. Zero? Should I be writing this down? Nope. Oh. oh shit! Here we go. Ooh. With the child and the bad parents. Oh, come on. We're just getting some good info. Oh, whoa. What the hell just happened? Some weird memory? Whoa, whoa, whoa boy. Okay. Hey, whoa. Lily! What's that? There's another drawer in. I, whoa, jeez. What? Whoa. She's waiting, apparently. Hey, oh, shit. That's enough of that. What is that, that I'm hearing, though? Oh. I'm just going to go and pick this up, all right? I guess it's not all right. Oh, I do not like this. <laughs> Every time I turn around, I think someone's going to be standing right behind me. I twist the dial, but it won't go any louder. I missed something. Ouch! Whoa. Could you extend your shift? For triple pay? Yeah. My price has gone up. Just like before. Wait, what? What else am I hearing? Oh, 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 okay, right, yep. Yeah. Is that a corpse? Why is there a corpse in the back garden? Okay. After hours, oh, lockdown overridden. <laughs> Welcome. I don't know. Right. Oh, oh, shit. And that's where it ends?